So let's take a virtual lap of Melbourne's Grand Prix circuit surrounding Albert Park Lake, a 5.3 kilometer 58 lap race. Opening straightaway in 7th gear at 305 kilometers per hour, we're already on the brakes anticipating the entry point while keeping a good buffer from the curbing. Avoiding any contact that could destabilize the vehicle. Another long climb up in speed and gears, we're back in 7th gear at 300 per hour. Sports Center on the brakes. In 108 meters in less than 2.5 seconds, the speed is reduced by 200 per hour with up to 5 Gs of longitudinal deceleration, producing an 1150 kilogram vertical downforce on the front tires. Back with the onboard camera in second gear at 150 kilometers per hour with slippery asphalt where the driver must carefully manage the engine's torque in order to avoid oversteer rear skidding that can increase the tire wear. The footprint area changes relative to the speed and resulting aerodynamic load on the tire. The contact area is tripled at 300 km per hour through a maximum friction coefficient that produces an optimal steering precision and the maximum available traction. We're in the most technical stretch of the track, a blind corner at 240-250 km per hour, staying on the inside rubber laden part of the track to take advantage of the grip offered by the tires. It's an S where the elevation changes can destabilize the setup of the car. A twist of the throttle and we entered one of the fastest straights of 300 km per hour for the track. The weight corner represents one of the most critical points of this track. The speed on corner exit reaches 210 per hour. 105 degrees Celsius is the temperature of the tire's contact patch. The right front tire is less stressed in this section and is thus 5 degrees colder. On the rear axle, the drive wheels, and in particular the right, works towards a target temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Higher values in the external area during the moment of contact, additional tension raises the internal tire temperature to 110 degrees, the thermal threshold guaranteeing maximum grip performance with the track surface. Huge braking with a load transfer on the front and then a chicane with two opposing sharp corners, which puts us on the main straight where we deliver max power of the engine to the ground, returning to 7th gear at over 306 kilometers per hour. 